Hey guys, it's Give It To Gamer, and I am back here again, making you guys another video, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So, guys, guys, today we're gonna be reacting to uh, the gameplay of the brand new game that's gonna be coming out, and it's called Sync Off Planet. Now, if you guys don't know, I've actually done a trailer reaction to both the cinematic and the uh, gameplay reveal trailer. And uh, all I can say is this game looks freaking cool. And if you guys want to know what this game reminds me of, this game reminds me of a combination of The Division mixed with World War Z. You put them together and boom, you get synced off the planet because it looks, it, it, it has the, you know, how, you know, The Division looks, you know, with this gameplay and all that stuff. That's what it looks like. And from the zombies aspect, that's where World War Z comes in through when you see the hordes of zombies coming after you. So that right there is a cool idea that these people... Uh, made this game look like and it looks really cool. I, I the freaking the cinematic got me pumped up Then we got to see the the reveal gameplay and I was like, oh dude What the hell this game looks freaking cool and now we're gonna be seeing uh, more of the gameplay of uh, Sync of the planet bit. I was trying to think if uh, which one should I do should I just do you know uh the um, uh, the gameplay demo of uh, you know of just the game you know playing you know of, of of the gameplay being showed or should I just watch me uh, you know react to uh, the developers talk about the game and all that stuff so they would give us some details <laughs> and I was thinking you know what why don't we just go ahead and have the developers talk about this because they are the ones that made the game they are the ones that are talk about the game and give them some details of what was in the inspiration and all that stuff so you know, I just went with the uh, with the developers talking about that. So yeah, so that's what we're gonna be reacting to. So let's get to see what more stuff we need to learn about this game, uh, because this game looks really cool. So yeah, let's go ahead and check this out and go. Welcome back to IGN at Gamescom. Now joining me to discuss Sync Off Planet uh, are is Chu from Gobo as well as Clark from Tencent. You guys just announced Sync, so for the uninitiated who haven't been able to check out Gamescom yet, what is Sync Off Planet? So this game is about a uh, inner world where the evolution goes wrong, and uh, everyone has the chip on their back, but some of the people does not really, you know, used to this kind of technology, so it's a, a new type of uh, post-apocalypse. And uh, for the survivors, though, they want to just risk themselves and, and capture the uh, opportunity to get off the planet. So overall, it's a uh, zombie survival PvP game, and uh, in this game, that uh, you know, people fighting for each other, and at the same time, they have to deal with the zombies at the same time. So that is the premise of the game. So there are PvPVE elements going on yes. here. Uh, how many teams? How many players? And what is the objective? Yeah. So uh, in every round, there will be 16 teams. Every team have three players, and uh, their goal is to capture a shuttle. And once you capture the shuttle, then you will be able to uh, to get off this uh, planet Earth, and that is the only objective. So in this game, you don't really need to you know kill people to win, although that that could be a necessary way to do it. However, mm. that uh, is more tactics and team play involved in the gameplay. Shu, can you talk to me about uh, a very unique element of this game? Is the ability to uh, essentially mind control the enemy zombies and use them against your your yes. enemies. So uh, how does that work? Uh, how many zombies can you mind control, and how powerful are they? Yes, I think, um, as it says on the title, Synced, um, the, con the concept of synchronization is a big part of the game, and I think that um, Clark might have more details yep. kind of, uh, on the details of the, of the gameplay there. Yeah, so the, uh, the, uh, the core thing here that, uh, you know, we all played the, the zombie games before, right? And uh, a lot of games that you just kill them all using whatever gun you have. You can still do it here, however, we need to look at those zombies as a resource at the same time. So how to leverage them to your advantage is a big thing. So there's a lot of you know, tactical in there. So at certain circumstances that you can synchronize with the dead uh, zombies. <laughs> zombies trying to snipe them. Within the certain range, the zombies will be yours for a little while. And you can, they're gonna fight for you, and you can even send them to a place that uh, do the same for you. Uh, how am I controlling them? Is that kind of like an RTS style uh, map? Can my two allies oh, control shit. the ones that I've already synced with? Or? Um, basically, you, the, the, the one who synced with the core, that the player will be able what, to... What, what, what? <laughs> Look at this guy's nice trying to run away. That you just point to a place, press a button, done. All the rest leave to the system to do. Gotcha. Uh, how large is the map? Uh, and, and does it shrink? Is there kind of like a circle a la yeah, Apex a, Legends or PUBG? That's a really good question. So first oh. of all, we don't we don't jump off 
airplanes. Second thing is that we don't <laughs> really have a, a circle to shrink. And uh, the map is about uh, one and a half kilometers by one and a half kilometers. And uh, in this map, we think that the pace is correct. It feels right. So 20 minutes per round, and you have a lot to do already in that, uh, inside the map. And uh, in this case, I think that for the player, you need to work with your teammate. You need to also plan your way from Sky the point chased. which the system gave you and to the landing zone. On the way, you will you will farm a little oh, bit, you can him. loot a little bit. You can you can you know deal with the zombies and then get yourself prepared to the final showdown. Great. Yeah. Talk to me about the in-game progression. You know, uh, obviously, sinking with zombies is a, is a big part of becoming more powerful. Yep. But I saw you can level up. Uh, are there <laughs> different weapons that I can pick up? Is there armor? You know, what is making me and my team stronger over yep. the course of the match? So first of all, from the equipment point of view, we have different weapons. And uh, every weapon also have different slots that you can Damn. Use scope, for example, or extend the magazine, all those stuff. And to do that, you need to actually crafting in those small components. So that is one part. And the second part is every character actually have different levels. So every time you play, you all start with level one. But progressing in the <laughs> game, you're killing people, you're killing zombies, you're looting stuff, you will grant you some experience. And once you do that, you will be able to level up. Once you do level up, you will get oh, some shit. that's uh, unique for you. And for the perks that... Oh, they didn't explode yet. Oh, now it explodes. Bam! He <laughs> <laughs> got him. Nice. Kind of very unique aspects of this game. <laughs> it's kind of funny how the body just flew away like that. <laughs> that was one cool. thing that we really want to do is how we can create this long term. Dude, look at that shit. Jesus Christ, I got that. Whoa. Because I think that goes back into. Oh, that's a cool ass grenade. Long you saw that? In it's terms like... of narrative and world building. And there are many stories that we want to tell. It's just that's a cool ass grenade. Within one match. Mm -hmm. So we want you to feel there is a continue, continuation of the development of, of this game. So everything that you do and all the achievements or progress that you made in the game, they can take that out uh, from the match. And we have a unique component, which is called Haven. That is like your, you know, your shelter, your rest place. And this is a bit that you can kind of grow and progress. And in it, that you will have more and more options that you can take into the next match. But at the same time, you will develop your uh, narrative and no more characters and no more backgrounds of the story as well. Gotcha. Is that going to be a shared space, or is that going to be a, a, a single kind of shard narrative? Space? I think you will see many. Yeah, like look at that! Freaking the zombie! Oh shit! Big um, guy right there. You can have your own haven. And, and look at that! They jump in. Look how they do when World War Z, dude. Forward. There will be many different areas within that space, uh, so that you can, you know, progress your weaponry, progress your gadgets, or you can say, I want to, you know, progress some other areas and uh, even, you know, visually improve how heaven looks. So, you know, different players will, will you know, take different um, paths uh, forward. Gotcha. And Damn. To promote that player choice is one thing that we really, really value. So, uh, one of the things that's been very interesting to me are the grenades in this game. Uh, yeah. We saw one thrown just there. There was kind of like a time warp bubble. Uh, I see there's one that jumps around to a bunch of people. Can you yeah. explain to me uh, what the mechanics of the grenades are? So, basically, that's that we, we call them gadgets. And uh, those also fit into this kind of a near future sci fi zim. So every gadget have the unique way of One way. and those and uh, c c c can be used in game that in certain s situation imagine that you have a lot of a uh, zombie in front of you using using a bouncing ball the bouncing ball will automatically find the next target then that is a really good way to just get out of the trouble or the uh, the decelerator the one that creating the bubble so what happens is when all the nano inside the bubble they will be all slowed down so that gives you more chance to escape or just pinpoint them and eliminate, uh, uh, kill them all. So that's the kind of thing that we want to empower the player. Because once you start doing the combination of all the small tools, you can create some really big magic around how the game is played. Imagine the situation where... Like an endless the wave. The accelerator. <laughs> and then and you throw the bouncing ball. Mm. That's a huge amount of kill you can do in one shot. One of my favorite things about PvE, uh, PvE games, uh, specifically Hunt Showdown, is the idea that you can go into this match, not be the victor, and mm -hmm. come out uh, with a better place than you started going in in terms of your account progression. Yeah. So what are the objectives uh, in Synced? And if I don't win, can I still kind of come out and level up, so to speak? Yes, yeah, so I think that your progress in the match will be recognized. You know, um, all the actions that will be contributing to your progression in Haven, and uh, you know, like Clark said, there are gadgets, there will uh, there will be weapons, and they will provide more gameplay options. And with the progression with um, with Haven, they will have more and more options. We can take a few of those into the match, 
so that we can ensure the match balance. So even if you fail uh, in a match, you will still kind of increase the experience points with Haven. You might still take kind of uh, fragments that will um, help with your weapon or gadget um, uh, research as well to kind of progress you in the game. Gotcha. So it's a team-based game. Yep. Uh, teams of three. Ah! Is there a down state or a uh, oh, shit? Can I be respawned? How does that He's work? He's being attacked. Question. First of all, when, when down state, yes, it's there. And uh, your teammate can Damn. grab you. Damn. And uh, this Damn. is one layer. The second layer is as long as in our team there's still one player alive, this player can take our chip on our back and then respawn the, uh, the, uh, the dead teammates. So those are all valuable. So it's very important that uh, the team play as a whole. It's, you know, in those type of games, there's always player, you know, just, you know, wandering around. And then you can do that, but we're really not recommending you to doing so. Because the tactic and this collaboration between the team players is the key. They need to be synchronized. Game. Exactly. <laughs> <the management. laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. But it, what an excellent segue. <laughs> uh, so let's discuss enemy variety. Uh, I noticed that there are the kind of common yep. nano zombies, yep. but I noticed that there are some beefier ones as yep. well. Uh, what different kinds of zombies are there? Beefcake! So we have some beefy ones in this demo. And uh, we actually also in, uh, in in the main game will have like four to five different other types, and every one of them will have a unique ability. For example, this beefy one can t can absorb a lot of damage, and at the same time, the weak point for this guy is actually on his back. Ouch. So it's better to work with the team so one guy can you know m move to the back and then shoot him. But another one will jump around all the time, and uh, the health for that guy is not that big. But you know because of the jumping nature, is actually very dangerous. This is one thing, and the second thing is, you know, as you as you can see, we can man control certain enemy, and you do man control those elite guys also, mm. and every one of them will have a specific usage also, right? So the beefy guy, once you synchronize with him, you send him to a direction, he will observe a lot of damage at the same time, a lot of nano zombies will attract to him, so for you it will be okay. You know what? I can, I can, I can, I can rest a little bit. Oh, he's a different and for character. Other elite guys, there will be other different type of uh, effect in the gameplay. So I understand we have some exclusive footage uh, of a character here. Do yep. you want to talk about what this is? Exactly, and uh, uh, we have a photogrammetry lab in the uh, in the studio, and every character, all the face, all the model, are done through this photogrammetry lab. So what it does is like a tons of uh, cameras surrounding a, uh, a place. They will take a, a, a lot of pictures of a uh, of a person, and then using. I wonder if you can customize the characters. The character looks. For that. Gave us because if, if the really characters are going to be the same how the World War Z characters are, you know, having the same outfit, but the developers that made World War Z did say that there's going to be customization in World War Z, so I guess they might do some cool customization with the game. This guy looks cool, already in the game, And uh, that gave us the best quality possible. At the same time, we were also developing something that uh, we call it any face. So basically, we have a database of different shape of uh, facial features, and then the system can take those features and then combine to whatever. <laughs> face this guy reminds me of so Hulk Hogan because of the uh, bandana. Every character are generated I by am the system. A real it looks real. American. It looks like a real person. <clears throat> Ray, we're running a little bit short on time here, but I do have one last question. Which this is character reminds me of a character from the Revenant from the Ashes because uh, of the long robe and the hood and the mask. I think it's the story, really, it. and I think it's a very uh, competitive game. Look cool. Really oh no, it looks like some zero for a little bit. The reason that we decide to because the mask next looks year blue is the ambition of hey. trying to tell a much much bigger story, um, you know, in this type of um, field. Great, that's fantastic, Clark Chu. Thank you so much for joining me. Synced off planet. Uh, coming up next, don't go anywhere because we've got some Dragon Ball Kakarot uh, gameplay. It's going to be very exciting. More IGN at Gamescom now returns after this. Hey. <laughs> the, the big awkward smile that he was doing was like, e like that, that was funny. <laughs> so yeah guys, that right there, we get to see some cool um, gameplay of the game, we get to know some details from the developers, and I guess, for, for, for my thoughts, I thought this game was going to be kind of like, you know, how, like, a, like kind of like a campaign, kind of like a story campaign that you're going to be doing, like an open world, uh, going, uh, you know, the world, collecting stuff, trying to survive and all that stuff. No, so this game is actually a PvP 
E, I guess you can say it like that. So basically, you're gonna, you're gonna be. It's kind of like the same thing as what World War Z as multiplayer is, because when you play the multiplayer in World War Z, you find against other people, you know, playing with different modes and all that stuff. Um, but not only are you facing your other opponents right there, you actually find against the zombies too. So I think that's uh, the kind of. Uh, the, the kind of game that this game is so this game is kind of like a multiplayer game you're basically like a, a group of people I, it's right there was like 4v4 so it's gonna be four people against four people shooting it out and the goal of the game is for you guys to try to survive uh, and try to get that uh, the, the airship to launch and if, and if one team manages to get off the planet, they win. So I guess that's uh, what the game is about. And the game is going to be like 20 minutes long. Um, so that one is cool, guys. Uh, we get to see some cool-ass enemies, some cool-ass grenades, which is awesome. Some cool characters and uh, a bunch of other stuff the developers talk about. So yeah, guys, this game looks really cool. I can't wait to go ahead and see a little bit more about that game. I can't wait to go ahead and see what the developers are going to be... Uh, Give us more details about the game because uh, we already saw two types of enemies, like special types of enemies. We saw the big guy and we got to see the guy that was like walk, like flying around and all that stuff. But we're still missing some more. And uh, yeah, can't wait to go ahead and see the weapons. Can't wait to see hopefully a class customization. Hopefully a, ho hopefully a new map. Um, and hopefully some other new stuff that we could begin to skip it. All I can say is this game looks cool, so yeah. But anyways guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys are excited for this game. I'm excited, it looked really cool. And uh, yeah, really awesome. And it picked some cool ass stuff from, from one of my two favorite games. Uh, the Division and World War Z. Put them together and you get this game and it looks really cool, so yeah. But anyways guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys are excited for this game. Sync off planet, I am. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.